Once again, you are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today I'm doing chicken and dumplings. I got a request from someone that uh, surprised me. Uh, I got a request from my brother. He wants to know, Thomas, this is for you, Thomas. I'm uh, doing a chicken and dumplings, and uh, like I say, I love all requests. Give me requests and comments, and I, I try to take care of it. Okay, we're coming down here. Enough of that. And I'm doing chicken and dumplings. So I want to show you guys what's what's on the recipe. All the ingredients. It's going to be my carrots, celery, onions, uh, chicken broth, chicken paste, uh, carnation, and, and, and thyme, and oregano, and rosemary. You guys see, it's, it's, it's a lot of little ingredients. It's a lot of ingredients, but like I told you guys, it's, I try to make it as simple as I can. Okay, so we're gonna start off. I got a little olive oil in here heating up. We're gonna, we're gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna bring this in close so you guys can see what I'm doing. We're putting the, the celery in. And I'm gonna put some carrots in. I mean some onions in, celery and onions right now. Okay, we're gonna stir this up, saute it for about five minutes. And guys, as always, you guys are awesome. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. Okay, so we're sauteing this for about five minutes. And guys, it's, 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 it's simple, easy, and delicious. Uh, I'm doing a skinless, boneless, skinless chicken breast, which is going to go in the pot when I make the broth, but we're going to take it out when it's done, and we're going to chop it up some. And with the dumplings, some people, I like chicken and dumplings. I like the drop balls that put it in. Some people make it, roll it out, make it flat like noodles. I mean, it, to me, that's just chicken and noodles. You know, I want the original. I want chicken and dumplings. And, 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 and today we're going to do the dumpling, the old-fashioned, the southern way. The way my mama did it. Okay, so we sauteing this. For five minutes, I got on medium to high heat. Eventually, we're going to bring it down to simmer. I got I got a little flour because I'm gonna, once I saute all that, I'm going to add a little flour and, and a little butter. But like I said, the recipe will be about in the description, guys, as always. And this is for you, Thomas. Your request, I'm here. I got you. <laughs> Okay, so we, we're sauteing this. And my carrots with that. Now I'm gonna put peas in there too, but that'll be that'll be almost at the end. That will be almost at the end. That would be the last thing we do before I drop the dumplings in there. We let this saute, and you want you want to get a, a big enough pot so when you do put the chicken, when you do put your chicken in, it's not real crowded and stuff, because you want you want to be able to let it be a little separate from each other and cook. It take about twenty to twenty five minutes once I put the lid on. even to get all that garlic even with that so it can cook even and every every bite is going to be the same for good flavor 
Okay, like I said, so we're going to add, I'm going to add a little flour. Add a little butter first, and then I'm going to add some flour to that, brown that up, get that raw flavor out. That raw flour flavor. Okay, so I'm going to drop some butter in there. This nice uh, butter thing, I, I just love her. She's she's awesome. So if anyone see the butter and ask me where did I get it from, I, I I got it from my wife. Okay, so we're gonna let this we're gonna let this cook, let this melt a little bit. Once the butter melts, I'm gonna add some flour. I'm gonna let that cook for another minute. Like I said, the recipe will be at the bottom of the description, guys. And it'll show you how much flour you need. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna stir this up, brown it up. And that's that's like a little thickening roux, but we're gonna have other stuff to thicken it with. And then I'm gonna do my chicken, my chicken broth, and then I'm gonna put the fresh chicken, boneless chicken thighs, boneless and skinless. I'm gonna let this stir for another minute. Like I say, we'll get that get that raw flour taste out. Oh yeah, I just I just love garlic, guys. I mean, that's that, that, that's nothing like a good smell of garlic. Okay, we you I got the time. Season that. You know, use the sage, dry thyme, dry sage, dry rosemary. Like I said, you'll you'll see you'll see the everything the recipe. Oh yeah. I I season my chicken with a little salt pepper. You know, it's, it's up to you guys how you want to season the chicken because you're going to have enough seasoning here. Okay. Now I got the flour, I got the, I got the flour, the raw flour smell out, taste away. So now I got me some uh, low, low sodium chicken broth. We're going to pour that in. six cups of these. chicken cook in here I'm a, we're gonna cover it once I put the chicken in here I'm gonna cover the lid I mean, I'm gonna cover the pot and we're gonna let that cook for about 20 to 25 we're gonna let that cook for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna take that out and chop the chicken and, and put it back in and you guys will see it okay right now like I showed you I got it on I got it on medium high because you want it to boil you want the chicken to boil and cook, and like I say, you know, 20 to 25 minutes or, or until it's done. Okay, I got, like I say, I got this boneless, uh, skinless chicken, and we're gonna put that in the pot.
we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna cover it up for about 20 to 25 minutes. And we're gonna let that chicken cook. I'm gonna let the chicken cook. I got it on medium to high heat. And we're gonna let that chicken cook. And guys, we're gonna bring this in closer. Okay, we bring that closer in. I just wanna stir this up. I'm gonna add, I, I use chicken, I, I use the chicken base. You know, some people use paste or, or chicken bouillon. The paste or the or this uh, base, and I'm using the base. So we're gonna move that over there. So you got the chicken base. Oh yes. You see that color? You see? You see how it's looking? You gonna let that chicken cook? Like I said, 20 to 25 minutes. So I won't bother that. We're going to leave that covered up like that. Let it thicken up. And guys, like like I say, uh, if you guys got any requests, comments or something, you know, I, I read the comments. I answer the comments. I, I try to catch on with the requests as quick as I can. And like I say, my brother, uh, he, he asked for this uh, chicken and dumpling. For this is for you, Thomas. Bring that in. Okay, guys, it's been about 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, let's move this out the way. I'm going to get this chicken out so we can cut that up. And then we'll make our dumplings. Guys, like I say, I, 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 I try to make it real simple for everyone. That's not confusing. Okay, I got it on low. I got it on low. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, Put it over here. Put some vegetables back in, of course. Bring this in so you guys can see. We really like to let it cool off for about five minutes. I got the, got the chicken cooked. You see how you see that broth that is that is making. I'm, I'm gonna put some uh, I'm gonna put some carnation. I mean ev uh, evaporating milk, but then I'm gonna put a little heavy cream. I, I like a little heavy cream too. It brings the flavor. It brings the brothness out. And it brings the broth. Yes. And see, that's, that's the perfect broth. If you guys can smell this. Oh, man. Okay. So I get my... I'm going to cut this up. And we'll put it right back in there. And then while that's cooking, I'll, I'll, we'll make the, the dumplings. in close so you guys can see I don't want small pieces and you see that that is cooked evenly and thoroughly I like chunks of I like chunks of vegetables chunks of meat and right now you can put it on simmer and can simmer Just that simple. It's a lot of ingredients. Don't let, don't let all these ingredients, you know, scare you or make it like you got to do a lot of stuff. You really don't. You just gotta, you just gotta love what you're doing. You gotta love cooking, and not just that, love eating too. Okay, we got that. Like I said, I like you. You can cut it a little small if you guys like. I, I just like I like bite size. I, I just like 
bite size. Okay, so I'm gonna move this stuff out the way. We're gonna stir this up. Like I said, it's on low. Oh man, you, you guys see that? You guys see that there? That's what you want. Then I'm gonna throw some peas in there too. Right here, so now we're gonna we're gonna go back we're gonna go back over here. I wanna show you we're gonna make our our dumplings. So we're gonna come back over here where we make our dumplings. Okay. And the recipe will be at the bottom of the description. I I just I'm gonna add a little something else with that, but right now we're gonna do I'm gonna add a little a little baby, I mean baking powder. And you're gonna leave the center. And this is this is my touch with sour cream. I want just a dab of sour cream. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh man, it just it to me it just brings a, a whole different flavor. And you're gonna you wanna make a little well. You put your, your melted butter in there. Then you're gonna add some milk. I'm gonna go back and get the milk. You wanna stir that. Let you guys see. Okay, I'm gonna go get go back and get some milk. milk to it and you don't want to fold it too much you don't want to make it tough and and you just add a little milk as you go because you want to get that consistency so you see Thomas even even you can make this man so I don't want no excuses now why you can't make this Add it as you go. Like I said, you don't want it too loose and you don't want to be folding it too much. And I'm whipping it. A little more. Like I said, some people, they, 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 they want to fold it out and make it flat and stuff. I, I want to do it the old-fashioned way. I want to do it the way my mama do it. And probably your mama's and, and all that. So here we go. So, okay. So this is, this is the... So I'm going to show you guys how we do it here. And that's the consistency right there. You want like little balls, cause that's gonna take another, that's gonna take another 15 to 20 minutes to cook, to cook through. So we'll put all this over here. Move this out the way. Like I said, I put my secret touches with the sour cream. It just brings a whole nother flavor out. show you guys now I'm, I'm using a little I'm gonna open this up I'm using a little this little scoop here and this is how let me bring this over so you guys can see let's bring this over here bring this closer You're just gonna you're just gonna make it like a little ball and you're just gonna drop it in there just like that 
and you don't want you don't want you you want to use a wooden spoon if you want to move it around because you don't want to break it apart. And that's, that's, I'm telling you, you can't, you can't go wrong with that there. And you don't want to put them too close to each other. And like I said, it's going to take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to cook thoroughly. And you don't want, you don't want big, big chunks. If you got a little, uh, if you got a little like little ice cream scoops or something like that, that make the balls for you, or the little fruit, little fruit balls like I mean scoops. And we're gonna submerge it in there, but I just want to get enough of these in here so you guys can see. Submerge it in, and you want to use like a wooden spoon to move it around because you don't want to break it apart. You just want to separate it. And I'm telling you, the sour cream it makes it totally different. Put a whole nother flavor in. You can put evaporated milk in it, a little bit of that in there. And then you're gonna cover it up. And and, and guys, it's, it's just that simple and that delicious. We're gonna bring this in closer in so you guys can see, like I said, another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, guys, while we're letting this cook, I just wanna show you guys what it's looking like, what it's supposed to look like. Let's bring this up closer. What it's supposed to look like. You got you got the balls in there, you got the dough. Like I said, about 15, 20 minutes, because you want you want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. And, and 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 when you when you submerge it, you, you want to use a wooden spoon. You don't want to use it because it'll break apart. Oh, and it's looking good, guys, and it's smelling delicious. Yes. Okay, we keep this submerged, cover this back up, and the next time I open it back up, it will be done. So we're gonna we're gonna let that cook for another 15 minutes because you want this cooked thoroughly all the way through. You want the the dough to be cooked. And guys, I mean, like I like I said before, like I like I said before, just uh, let me know uh, if you do these recipes and let me know. You know how it turned out. How do you like about it? Okay, let's bring this down. Bring this closer so you guys can see. Okay, guys, let's bring this in closer. It's about done. It's smelling. It's smelling delicious. Oh, it's even looking better. Let's bring this in closer. You guys can see. So I cut this. Cut the fire off. I want you to see the. See the. Oh yeah. See the dumplings. You see the chicken? Oh God, we got we got we gotta get some of this here. I just want you to see that. Get some of this chicken. Get a couple of these dumplings. Oh yeah. Go down and grab some more of that chicken. Let's get these 
vegetables, get more of the vegetables. <laughs> And guys, as always, this is the chicken and dumpling. Oh man, it's delicious. It smells delicious. You know what? Well, this time I'm not gonna, I, 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 I taste everything. I want you guys to cook it and taste it. This is the ch chicken and dumpling, guys. And Thomas, you, met, you requested it and I got you. Until next time, you are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen.